If you're looking for a solid action game, look no further than Guerrilla War for the NES. Based on the 1987 arcade classic from SNK, this NES port provides much for you to see and do as you try to stop a ruthless dictator. Armed with your trusty machine gun and infinite grenades, you guide your team of commandos across many different areas to your final destination, the capital city. You'll be traveling through many different environments as you travel to the capital. These range from the jungles, the mines, to hell, even the sewers. And there are plenty of enemy soldiers along the way that'll be trying to stop your journey. Now what kind of game would Guerrilla War be if you didn't get the opportunity to collect more powerful weapons which you can earn by gunning down the pink enemy? Yeah, you, that's right, the pink enemies. Don't worry though, you'll need to collect such weapons as flamethrowers, spread shots, more powerful grenades, and even... pink missiles? Yeah, I guess they can be called pink missiles, but hell, it's Guerrilla War and you're going to use every type of weapon along your journey. Now, if you think this will be an easy expedition for your team, you're dead wrong. The enemy troops will be using your tactics and strategies to gun you down. Now, this can simply range from simply standing and shooting at your team, to running, gunning, and simply blasting your character into oblivion. It certainly is not the most difficult enemy AI for its time, but it's definitely a refreshing change compared to another SNK title, <coughs> Akari Warriors. Oh man, the slowness. So much slowness, it's too slow! <coughs> Back to the game. Yet there are still some odd moments in the game that happen like this one. Wait, why did my character just blow up when he ran to that soldier? What? Let me guess, he's carrying explosive grenades and detonate when he falls on the ground. Right. Uh-huh. And I suppose the whole exploding episode is all part of this military strategy to prevent my weapon from falling into enemy hands. Yeah! That was real intentional. Even despite the whole you versus everyone game concept which has been done to death by today, Guerrilla War is still a fun and classic game that you can bust out on your NES. With its focus on lots of action, plenty of challenges, two-player co-op, Guerrilla War packs it all in and allows you to fight your way for the opportunity to defeat the all-powerful boss, become the hero, and if that's not enough, you can always brag about your high score to all your friends. Totally awesome.